First thing I did was apply my gray contact lenses and I'm using some hair gel to slick back my hair. This is going to flatten it down and help me apply my bald cap, but brace yourselves for a very amateuristic bald cap application. This was my first time applying a bald cap. I'm trimming away the edges, which I didn't do a very good job with because I let some hair show through. I'm sticking it down with some spirit gum and I'm moving on to my foundation. Hopefully the bald cap is not going to stand in the way of what we want to do, which is paint all over it. So next I'm filling in my brows. I'm creating quite a big arch, especially on the right eyebrow because frankly, the bald cap is pulling my face all different directions. So I thought this was a good way to balance them out a little bit. This is my eye base, which is just to cancel out any redness around my eyes. And next I'm going in with a shimmery blue eyeshadow, which I'm applying all over the outer V underneath and inside my crease. And I'm blending it out with my blending brush. Next, I'm going to pick up some light blue shimmery eyeshadow, almost like an ice blue, and I'm applying this all over the mobile lid. And I'm going in with a blue purple, which is matte, to further define my crease. I'm taking it all the way into the inner corner, right underneath the eyebrow. And next, I'm doing my liner with my black water activated paint. I'm just lining my top and bottom lash line and I'm joining up the two lines and winging it out quite a bit. I'm not finishing up the whole liner action just yet. Next I'm going in with a matte white eyeshadow to highlight underneath my brow bone and I'm applying a generous coat of mascara on top and bottom lashes just so they mesh with my fake lashes which I'm going to use right now. These are my favorite dainty fairy lashes which have feathers on the edges and I'm gonna take a break from the eye makeup right now just so I can move on to the body and see how the whole look comes together. So I'm outlining the leaves or petals. My main concern at this point is to hide the bald cap as best as possible so I'm going over most of the seam. And I'm using the same water activated paint on my body as well, this time with a much thicker brush, just so it covers a bigger area. I'm filling in my entire costume, so the headpiece and my bolero or dress, whatever you want to call it, it's actually a painted on costume. So I'm filling in the entire area, the back of my head. This is a lot easier to do if you have a friend to help you. I actually had to get up and hold a mirror up so I could do the back of my head, which is a interesting tidbit for you there. You can draw whatever shape or style costume you like. This is the beauty of having painted on clothes and they don't even have to make sense since it's a fairy wearing them. So I'm going over the edges of my garment with blue, which I'm using messy strokes for that because I don't really want it to make sense anatomically, like I said. So. Next, I'm picking up some white with my sponge just so I can get on with my highlighting. So I'm applying it on the high points of my chest, which is my shoulders, the collarbone, and also moving on to the petals, which I want to highlight all around. So I'm not quite employing a specific technique or method to do this. I'm just adding texture using white just to make the outlines more interesting. And I'm moving on to my blue as well. So I'm basically alternating between white and blue just so I have a more gradient and uniform effect. You can do this as much or as little as you want with just about any sponge or brush just to add texture. Next, I'm moving on to my ribbons which are holding my piece together. I'm not doing the shading around them just yet. I'm going back to my face for a brief moment and I'm applying some silver liner on top of my black one. I'm also connecting my black liner to my petals. Going back to my costume, I'm adding my white dots all around the outline just for a different highlight effect or just as an extra ornament, you know, just whatever looks good. So right now I'm doing my veining using the same white paint. You can do these lines as thin or as thick as you want. They can look like veins on leaves or like cracks or like thunders in the night sky and even the color palette that I used is just what I personally came up with but you can definitely use different colors for different fairies such as green for a forest fairy etc. So I'm going back into my eyes with some blue eyeliner and I'm lining my lips with some purple and I'm going in with my dark purple lipstick which is my Cyber by MAC just to complete the lips. I'm also connecting my brows to my petals much like my eyes 
and I'm adding some more white dots, this time more sparingly, and they're fading out as they're reaching the darkness towards the shoulders. I'm incorporating the white dots into my face makeup as well, so I'm applying it on the dark parts of my crease and all around my eye and eyebrow, and I'm even outlining them slightly with black. And now I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow just to create the shadows supposedly cast by the ribbons onto the skin. The closer they are to the skin, the darker it is, so the harder I'm pressing with my brush. I'm also adding some white sort of dots or strokes on the ribbons themselves, making sure that these white bits don't overlap because I want the ribbons to look as though they're resting on top of each other. And finally, I'm adding some more shadow all around my petals just so it looks like they're standing slightly away from my skin just so they appear a tad more realistic and finally I'm putting on my gorgeous crown which I got from a costume wardrobe I'll have all the details as to where I got it in the description box below and that concludes today's tutorial of a firefly queen this title is also purely indicative you can use this tutorial for a night queen look or a fairy queen look or an evil queen look I didn't mean for it to look evil, but, you know, because of the bald cap, the brows have an attitude. So yeah, one of the surprises of improvised looks. So that was it from me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!